हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल ऑटोमेशन हब साधक एंड विल कंटिन्यू विद दी डायनेमिक एक्सपाथ एंड टुडेज टॉपिक आई विल जस्ट शोकेस टू यू इन एमएस पेंट ओके सो लेट्स गो हेड एंड बिगिन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वील लर्न अबाउट टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एक्सपाथ कॉन्सेप्ट डायनेमिक एक्सपाथ कॉन्सेप्ट द फर्स्ट वन इज टेक्सट ओके एंड द सेकेंड वन इज कंटेंट्स सो लेट्स एक्चुअली सी वॉट इज दिनटैक्स फॉर टेक्सट एक्सपाथ यूजिंग टेक्सट It is double slash HTML tag square bracket text parenthesis equals to single quote value of the text, and that's mostly it. So this is the syntax for in for XPath using text. So let's go ahead and let's see Rediff. dot com. Uh, okay, sorry. I'll press F12. Let's open the DOM. Okay. So I'll press Control F. Okay. So let's go ahead and do for sign in link. Okay. Right click, inspect element. So uh, technically we are not using any sort of uh, uh, attribute here. It is just text equal to value of the text. We just need the HTML tag. What is the HTML tag for sign in link? It is A. Okay, so double slash a text parenthesis equals to single quote s i g n. What is the value of text? Space i n, and that's it. See, it is. Uh, if you inspect again, yellow and yellow and blue fill are coinciding, and it is one of one. So it is typically a unique X path. Okay. So we'll just come here and we we'll paste it. So this is the correct text path. Okay, fine. Now let's go ahead and try to do it for create account. Right click, inspect element. I'll remove this. Okay. So what is the ang what is the HTML tag for create account? It is A again. So we'll do double slash A square bracket starts. Text parenthesis equals to single quote. What is the value? Create C capital account single quote square bracket. So it is one of one. The blue and yellow fill are in the same place. They are coinciding one of one. So this also is an example of X path using text. Okay. See, I'll come and paste it here. It worked. It also looks good. So let's now go ahead and find the code uh, inside the. Uh, let's go ahead and you know run the code inside Eclipse. What do you say? So okay, Eclipse. Okay, finally. I think I need to upgrade my Eclipse or something. It is misbehaving. Okay, so xpath underscore contains underscore text. Okay, so let's see. We'll go ahead. Public static web driver dri driver. Okay. Web driver manager dot Chrome driver dot setup driver. Equals to new Chrome driver driver dot manage dot window dot maximize very simple driver dot driver dot get what is the URL let's oh, let's, let's copy the URL. Inside the string. Okay, looks good. Now, driver dot find element by dot x path. Let's say for example you want to give click on this create account. Control C. Dot click. Simple. Let's see if this works. Okay. I'm uh, running this particular program. 
so what it will do is selenium will just go ahead and it will click on the create account link so that's what we need to see whether it's redirecting to the create account page using this particular xpath of text okay so browser is opened it will maximize now come on selenium come on okay so it is about to maximize click on create account yes it is it is clicking fine so our code is right our xpath is right it is absolutely fine so this even if you go and code this also this will also work not a problem okay so now let's jump to the uh, syntax of contains there are two syntaxes okay the first one I'll tell you HTML tag okay square bracket contains text okay the parenthesis starts for contains then the text will have its own parenthesis single quote value of the text okay now you will close the parenthesis of uh, contains and then you will close the square bracket this is one particular syntax and the other syntax is HTML tag square bracket contains here we have at the rate attribute comma single quote value of that particular attribute then you give the parenthesis of contains you close it so these are the two different syntaxes for contains and this is the syntax for HTML for sorry for text okay so now let's go ahead and uh, see uh, how do we deduce this dynamic xpath for contains using text as well as attribute and value so let's go ahead with this one first okay so using text what do we need to do so we'll go to our edif we'll close this we'll like we'll go for sign in or let's let's go for enterprise email okay so i'll do control f so as per so as per the syntax we need html tag and then just just the text so what is the html tag of enterprise email it is anchor tag a simple double slash a contains parenthesis starts text parenthesis of text comma okay then value of the text is enterprise space e capital both e capitals single quote parenthesis of contains closes and this see it is one of one and the blue and yellow are coinciding so this is our correct x path okay so this is our correct x path okay i'll just mark it as blue okay so this is our correct x path so let's see whether this particular x path is actually working fine or not okay i'll control c this thing okay so we'll do driver dot find element by dot x path i'll give the string put that thing here dot click okay so we'll run this particular code i'm marking this as comment okay control f11 so let's see whether this thing is actually working or not let's see whether the contains x path we have created using text whether it is actually going and clicking the uh, enterprise email of uh, the Reddit landing page link so the browser is open it is maximizing and enterprise email okay it is clicking on enterprise email voila our x path is absolutely fine it is working fine so you can go ahead and try with uh, try different uh, like let's say for example I'm not gonna run the particular code but I'll go ahead and see business email right inspect what is the ang uh, okay I'll, I'll remove this so I'll click on business email inspect see anchor tag is the HTML tag which is a what is the uh, text business space email so simple you do this anchor tag HTML tag which is anchor tag square bracket starts contains the parenthesis begins text parenthesis of text comma in single quote you have to type what is the text business space email guys make sure you give the exact mention of the text if B is capital mention B capital and if E is capital mention E capital if there is a space in between them please please do not forget to mention the space and do not forget all the single quotes do not forget the parenthesis 
and do not forget to end the square bracket and do not forget to do this as well inspect see one of one in certain cases maybe maybe this doesn't become one of one so you have to be very very careful that whatever it is it has to be one of one that is a mandate so you can try this also you can do it on your own you can code it and it should work fine okay our xpath is good now let's go ahead and try with this particular syntax for uh, contains using attribute and value okay let's see so what do we need to do which one you want to make um, let's go ahead and try for ready if mail how about that inspect okay so what do we need here we need an attribute and we need a value also we need an HTML tag so Rediff should have an attribute which you can take can we the HTML tag is a href we cannot take title we cannot take class we can take because class is just a single value and the name is M A I L I C O N mail icon it's a single value it is it is this class doesn't have multiple values so we can take this fine let's go ahead so double slash a square bracket starts contains parenthesis begins of contains at the rate attribute is class comma single quote what is the value I forgot so red if mail inspect the values M A I L I C O N copy put it inside the single quote and the parenthesis of contains and the square bracket it is one of two wow now see see this can you see this is one of two so even though blue and yellow are coinciding because it is one of two I'm not going to take this particular X path so this is a learning guys so I'm not gonna use this okay why I'm not gonna use this I'll tell you we will not use this X path because it is not exactly unique why because it has a value of 1 of 2 now we have discussed a lot about this 1 of 2 1 of 1 1 of anything what is this 1 of 2 see 1 of 2 means this means that this X path has two web elements so it's like if somebody asks in an interview can one particular X path have multiple elements yes one of nine means that particular X path has nine web elements one of ten means that particular X path has ten web elements one of two means that particular X path has two elements okay so I hope you understood so we are not taking this we can take it will work but no we will not we'll stick to our policy of one of one okay so now let's find something else this thing is not gonna work so let's uh, go for money inspect what is is there anything we can take no money we cannot take uh, href title on click no and class no we cannot take because there are two classes money icon can you see here money icon and relative there are two because there is a space in between them so we'll not take let's go to videos click on inspect do we have something class equal to vd icon okay fine let's see whether this actually returns us one of one or maybe it is something else what is the html tag a so double slash a square bracket contains the parenthesis begins at the rate class comma single quote will paste the value close the parenthesis of contains close the square bracket see it is one of one wonderful it is one of one and the blue and yellow are coinciding and this is an X path which we can take okay so this is the X path which we can take which I'll recommend okay this is one of one so we can take this let's go ahead and put it inside the code I'll comment this one and let's do this driver dot find element by dot x path string I'll make it copy paste and then dot click this is also a link control s okay let me run it so guys always make sure that you take x path which is one of one do not take x path one of two even though it is highlighting on that and blue and yellow are coinciding but still do not you never know so Redif is opening. Is it clicking on videos? 
yes it is so we are going into the video section of it so our xpaths are actually working absolutely fine there is no problems in our xpath so even this is working fine so you can try for uh, other things as well and now i'll i will try to show you something let's say for example you go inside the sign in button okay you can see sig and in inside this particular uh, uh, button okay inside the login page of rediff i hope you guys can see so right click inspect so what will happen here if we use contains you know let's see contains using text and then contains using these things let's try using text for sign space in what is the html tag html tag is input double slash input square bracket contains parenthesis of contains begins text parenthesis of contains of text ends and then in single quotes we have sign space in parenthesis closes see why is it 0 of 0 can you see guys it is 0 of 0 as simple as that you always remember one thing whenever you are using contains and text this is mostly used for links hyperlinks okay and simple text plain text sometimes it works for logos and images you know do not use this for any sort of buttons or text boxes or radio buttons or no it, it, this also applies for contains as well so they have certain limitations okay so this is the thing which you need to be very very worry about you know you you have to know this you just cannot overlook this particular situation you have to know this okay so with experience you'll get to know i hope you like the session uh, i'll surely put up uh, another wonderful video for uh, dynamic xpaths and please uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel automation hub sathak thank you so much guys sathak here signing off